marketing will win here in Fleetwood. Great result and performance. You must be thoroughly satisfied after that. Yeah, absolutely. I thought we played very well, actually. Um, after a really sticky first 10 minutes where they started with a brilliant intent, um, trying to get to grips with their shape, their style, um, the conditions a bit. It's obviously blowing a gale. Um, but we got, we got through that period well, which you've got to do when you're away from home. And I thought one or two of our counter-attacking moments should have returned us a goal, actually. A better decision or execution on the last bit. Gassan, good chance. Sakes, good chance. Um, Brove's good chance. But we, we've got to make sure we're clean and effective. And our creation of the chance was great. The finishing might have been a little bit better in that moment. But I thought it was a brilliant performance, really. Um, really dogged in terms of the way in which we defended. Counter-attack well, played with a good aggression. Showed good emotion and temperament in the game. Um, and then once we got the second goal, um, which was a, a really good to see from a set play and a really good goal. Uh, we were quite pleased with the way we saw the game through in the end. You know you're under pressure. They go to shape they haven't played really, just lots of forward players on the pitch. It makes it very difficult to defend, but I thought they played a direct game and we defended it brilliantly. Yeah, we went ahead about midway point of the first half through Paul Digby, a fitting player on his 150th appearance for the club. Yeah, I said we have to do him a 151 shirt on Tuesday because he scored when we gave him a 100 shirt against Exeter and now he scored on his 150. So a shirt a game otherwise because one in 50 is not a great ratio otherwise. But a uh, brilliant goal. I, I thought he played ever so well in the first half, blocking spaces. In, the sec in, in terms of his goal, catching up attacks, the hard running of this team so far has been great, but it's two games, so we have to continue that. But I love the way we're running forward to create chances and back to recover and defend our goal and, and work for each other. It's a great trait to have in our team. It's what our best teams have been built off over the last few years, and we need it again. And in the second half, Diggers had to defend loads around Stockley, and, and, and as they went direct, had to make a lot of first contacts, which he did very well, as did Morrow. I thought some of his defensive aerial duels were brilliant, and, and the rest of the back four. So, yeah, really pleased, really pleased. Great mentality and a, and a brilliant start to our away, away games this year. We looked a constant threat throughout, so it must have been a big relief when we finally got that breathing room with another brilliant header from Gas and brilliant corner as well from George. Really good move, um, excellent quality there. I mean, we've done a lot of work on those and, and Barry's led on that really and we need to see the reward for it. We need to make sure we know when we get a set play and the Abbey starts singing yellows um, and, and we, we know we're a threat in those situations. We've got to be and we'll only be if we score from them and it's great to get the first one. We want, we want that to be a big thing for us this year. So I was really pleased with his header and delivery from George and also just the way in which we uh, looked a threat throughout with some of our counter-attacking play was outstanding real good speed real good quality in that um, in a game when they were forcing it a little bit we were able to we were able to find quite a few of those moments but we didn't make enough of some of them we might have been a little bit better off in one or two situations so little bits for us to work on obviously at this stage of the season but delighted with how we've done and another clean sheet must please you yeah, of course, you need to get as many of them as we can. I mean, they're not the biggest stat in the world, but um, they, they are important. They contribute to wins. The goal in the back four, love them. Uh, we like to try and be as solid and compact and strong as we can. We know it's hard to keep clean sheets at this level. So we're really pleased with the two, the two that we've started with. Um, I'm also really pleased with the effectiveness of our attacking play. I think there's been lots come together in the last two games. Um, but it is two games and we've got two really tough ones next week at home. So we've got to get ready for them now and, and get ourselves home. But fair play to... Firstly, the 400-odd fans that were here, I thought, unbelievable support. I hope their journey home is better than their journey home was on Tuesday. And I hope their journey up wasn't as bad as ours yesterday, seven hours to get here yesterday. So the lads have dealt with it brilliantly. A really busy first week. We go into a busy second week, but we want to try and keep going what we started. Yeah, it sets it up nicely for next week, doesn't it? Two home games back at the Abbey. Yeah, exactly. And, and um, tough games, you know, there'll be an expectation on us, but Stevenage are... The bounce of a new season started well. Bristol Rovers, I think, are a really strong side this year, really strong squad. Um, that'll be a tough game for us as well. So, yeah, let's deal with the first one and uh, enjoy tonight first on the journey home and then get to work again.